I would say just upset more than emotional. He's a competitor who's having a, a tough time navigating the lineup at the moment. So um, it's expected to be upset, and uh, he's never been more determined to figure out a way out of it. So that's where we're at. When's when it's appropriate to go up to a player who was upset after an outing and wanted to stay back? Um, you got a pretty good feel for when somebody needs their space and when somebody needs to be encouraged. So, yeah. What was your message to him in that um, It's between me and Wayno, but, yeah. Yeah, we, we know what his pitches have been doing and have been doing as he's been working through this the last couple starts. Do you all feel like you have a pretty good feed on maybe why he's not getting a bite of the curveball? Um, yes and no, and um, it's a better question for him, but at the end of the day, we're going to figure it out, and uh, he'll make his next start, and he's determined to, so. Physically, there's not... No, there's not correct, yeah. He get checked out with it? Correct, yeah. From your vantage point, is it similar issues as the last start in terms of just... Yeah, you have that um, just a hesitation at third there for the double play ball and it just inability to finish a hitter um, kind of led to another hit and another hit to, and then six runs. But, um, yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's being able to to finish a hitter and, and miss a bat. So, yes, very similar to the last one, I would say. Probably last season, Albert's start didn't go as he hoped, and then he dug his way out of it. Is there things that can be learned from Wayno, you know, how, how Albert got himself going and finished that season? Yeah, that's our hope. You got guys that have been really good for a long time and understand what it takes to to do that. And um, when I say he's determined, that's an understatement. People could give up on him all they want. I won't. I'll make his next start. Yeah. Yeah, it was a decent amount of the game to cover. Um, Matt did a really nice job. That's probably the best we've seen him throw his change up. He got a lot of swing and miss with that pitch. So a nice job by him there. Kind of erratic with the fastball at times. Uh, what he gave us, what he had today. And um, not as sharp as we saw him last time out in London, but uh, was able to to still give us several innings there. And then uh, in order to get through the next several games leading into the All-Star break, we're not using another pitcher to leading into the series against New York tomorrow. So Burley takes the ninth. Yeah. With Nolan Arnado from that was just to get him up to speed. Yeah, no reason to keep going. We're down by a decent amount. There's no reason to continue to risk at bats there. He was able to post today. Uh, this is a guy you have to appreciate it regardless of how he feels. He just continues to want to be on the field and help us um, figure this out and help us win. And it speaks a lot to, to Nolan to be able to do that. You think about how these games have gone and where we're at in the standings, and, and it's easy for your superstar to say, hey, just give me the day off. But it speaks a ton as to where that group is in that clubhouse as far as figuring out a way out of this. Um, I love the fact that he wanted to go today. He was yeah. for his eighth All-Star game tonight, started third base. Now, you said in April his numbers didn't look great, but, I mean, look where they are now. It's, this is what he does, right? Yeah, he had a tough April, and he would admit that it was one of the toughest stretches of his career. But this is a guy that's incredibly uh, mentally strong and determined, and he understands how good he is, and it was a matter of time before he got going. But his last 60 days have been pretty darn good. Yeah. Confident he'll be able to play the field this weekend, or do you have to? Oh, that's our hope, yeah.